Hello. We're going to take a look now at how to create a Kinesis Data Analytics Studio environment and how to upload one of the notebooks. This is building on this Git repository and this uh, Flink Kinesis Data Analytics example. And uh, you've probably maybe already followed the first video of sending data to Kinesis and doing some initial setup. And you now want to get started writing some, some Flink code. So to do this, we're going to start by coming into the AWS console and we're going to go to Kinesis. Within Kinesis, we can go to Data Analytics. And you'll notice that there's Analytics Applications and then there's the Studio tab. So we're going to go to Studios. And then we're going to create a studio notebook. There's a quick create and there's a custom settings. Uh, we're going to go the custom route so that I can explain a few of the extra options that are available. I'll name this environment demo notebook. Um, in our case, we're going to pick uh, Flink 1.13 and, and Zeppelin 0.9. The, there's four steps here, right? There's the name and describe, the IAM permissions, the configure, the review, and the create. So in the IAM permissions, I'm going to opt to create a new role. Um, I could also choose an existing role if I had one. So the options are yours. This will be the IAM role that your notebook and studio environment uses. We'll also need to choose a Glue database. I already have a Glue database existing that I could choose, or I could also create a new one. So maybe for this example, we'll create a new one. Okay, so let's add a database called demo DB. And again, this this is um, this is a database in the sense of it's for your data catalog. So you'll see when you start writing some of the Flink applications that you'll establish uh, like tables as an example, uh, like metadata or a representation of a stream, and it'll be stored in this in this database, so to speak. And then there's some additional IAM policies we can configure around the sources or destinations. We're not going to choose anything here. There's a scaling page here around parallelism and the number of KPUs you want to use. For the logging, we'll leave CloudWatch logs on. I'm not going to do anything custom with the VPC uh, since we're working with Kinesis. If I was working with uh, something like Kafka or AWS is a MSK managed Kafka, I would want to make sure that my I'm in the same VPC as the broker, so I could actually communicate with them or that I thought through that networking piece. Uh, the deploy as application piece is, is something that I'm going to choose. So you'll see here that I have the option to select an S3 bucket or to create a new one. So maybe what I'll do here is I'll create a new bucket. The reason you need this S3 bucket is when you work within the studio and the notebook environment for Kinesis Data Analytics, you have the option at any point to package up and deploy your code. And uh, when you select that option, it's actually going to package up your assets to an S3 bucket. I'll just leave it the default settings. Let's see, I, think I have a name here that has some characters. Um, you can see here as well, connectors, we get some default connectors for Flink SQL, Kinesis, you know, uh, MSKIM authentication, and Kafka. If you had additional connectors, you could put them here, as well as user-defined functions. Great. We'll review our setup. Everything looks good. You know, we did a couple customizations, and we'll create our Studio Notebook environment. The creation might take a moment, so don't be alarmed if it uh, if you have to pause. Great, and then uh, really important, as soon as it's successfully created, we'll want to click Run, and then you see that our status here is now starting, and this will take a few minutes to start. 
Excellent. And you can see that our um, notebook uh, studio environment successfully started. So we'll now hit this button to open an Apache Zeppelin. Fantastic. And you'll see we're at the, the Zeppelin page now. So uh, you can create a notebook here, but uh, we're going to import a notebook in the repository under this interactive um, KDA Flink Zeppelin notebook folder. And then Flink version 1.13, you'll see that there's a file, a dot a .zpln file. So I've already downloaded that, so I'm going to import that notebook. And I'm going to open it. Fantastic, and oops. you can see that the notebook loaded. And uh, maybe just to test that it's working, we can just run the very first cell. Yeah, fantastic, and that'll kick off. But Otherwise, this is how we get started. Uh, from here, we can essentially go cell by cell, and the notebook is set up to be uh, self-explanatory. You'll want to start your data producer, and then you'll be able to start walking through some various operations uh, using the streaming SQL APIs in Flink.